Hello everybody, Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. Check me out on Instagram, at Tyler Tarver. What? I didn't mean to say that. Okay, so let's look at our problem of the day for today. All right, what I've got is a multi-step equation we want to solve for x. So I will stop talking and let you give it your best shot. Try something until you have x by itself on one side of the equal sign. Ready? Go. Now you've resumed it, you've given it your best shot. Let's see how you do it, okay? Well, drop that marker. All right, our first thing we wanna do is we wanna start simplifying on single sides of the equal sign. So what I always like to do is I like to make a little break for where the equal sign is. Not that two dotted lines. But that way I can keep everything in order over here, everything in an order over here. If it's all on the same side, you just do regular math. Don't do any opposites on the same side of the equal sign. It's when you try to go across the equal sign that's when you do the opposites, okay? So let's take a look at it. First thing we're going to do, arrives with distribute. That's right, distribute. Okay, so I'm going to distribute this negative 3 times everything in the parentheses. There and there. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 6 is positive 18. Next, i got to distribute this positive 4 to both of these. Now, a lot of times when people mess up, if that's a negative right there, they'll forget to distribute the negative. The sign goes with the number. So positive 4 goes there and there. 4 times x is positive 4x. 4 times 1 is positive 4. Okay, I have not done any opposites. Over here, can I simplify anything? Mm -hmm. No. Because they don't have the same variable. All right? So let's take a gander. We can still simplify on this side. What I like to do is I like to circle the first variable or number, and then I combine what I can with it. So we got a x here. So I need to find anything with just a single x. If it was x squared, can't use it. If it's just a number, can't use it. Okay, so x, no, yes. Make sure you get the sign in front of it. So negative 3x plus 4x is going to be a positive 1x, which I don't have to write the 1 because it's times that. All right, then I mark it out. That way I don't reuse it or miss anything. This helps me kind of narrow it down. So I've got 18 plus 4, so it would be positive 22. Okay, then I'm going to get my other side of the equal sign, 7x minus 10. And I'm sorry it's so far away from it, I should have written it closer. My bad. Okay, now we still got to get our x's together. What I always recommend whenever you're, I'm going to get it closer, sorry. Okay, what I always recommend is whatever the smaller number with the variable is, put it on the other side. Okay, that way you're not making it a negative and then just adds confusion to it. Okay, so this x is smaller than this x, so I'm going to move it to the other side. So the, to get rid of an x, I would just subtract x from both sides. That goes away. That's 22. 7x minus 1x is 6x. And I've still got that negative 10 hanging out. Now, I've got to get that negative 10 to this side. What's the opposite of minusing 10? Adding 10. Very good. So I add 10 to both sides. That would be 32 equals 6x. All right, now I need to divide by 6. So divide by 6, and that would be x equals 5.3 repeating. I don't know why I did a weird one that had something like that, but that's what it is. Okay? And that's all I got. Thank you for tuning in today. Please check in tomorrow. Every day we've got a new problem for you to work with your brain. Thanks for checking it out. Peace. Bye. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.